my daughter came my, and my grandchildren and my other granddaughter took me and uh, we arrived there late and it was a beautiful day and it was so smooth and I thought, oh, they're not going to do it they, because it's been cancelled twice because the wind wasn't strong enough. We had to walk up this hill, a mile and a half or so up. <laughs> I got there and then we did the paragliding and it was really a treat worth it. Every bit of it was worth it. The weather was beautiful. The wind had bit. You felt the wind up there, but you didn't feel it in the valley. And it was a beautiful day. And we went. And the man, who's Mark, his name was, he's an ex, uh, ex, ex RAF man. And he um, gave me an extra 10 minutes. We were up there for an hour. And he said, Are you liking it? I said, I love it. Oh, yes. I can't describe it. It, it. The chap said to me, are you enjoying it? I said, enjoying it? I said, I feel like a free bird in the air. I said, fly where I like and, and that. And I could see a bit on the ground. I could see the shadows of the, of the fields and a couple of houses and things like that. So I didn't miss it all. It was lovely. Um, but it, it was, I, I can't describe it. I, it's a big thrill. I recommend anybody to do it and don't be frightened because there's nothing to be frightened of, not at all. And he, he went up, he said, look, lean over, like that, lean over, he said, and as he did that, the thing swirled right round like that in a big circle, but really fast, and it was, oh, no. I, I didn't think it was be so good, yeah, I really didn't.